friends. Hey, welcome back to Nurse Love 101. So um, I'm probably going to post this video on Nurse Week. So happy Nurse Week and happy um, Healthcare Worker Week for everybody who is in the healthcare industry and is thinking about going into the healthcare industry. So I actually getting ready with some of the new products that I bought from Sephora. So I wanted to kind of share some of the stuff with you and kind of show you guys my routine um, before I go to work, kind of what I do, the makeup I wear. I will remind you guys that um, we are no longer wearing a mask in uh, California. As long as you have your influenza, you can be mask free. So I'm excited because then I get to bring back some of my makeup, okay? I stopped wearing um, a like full face um, and I stopped wearing makeup because of the mask and the makeup I felt was really irritating me. So the first thing I put on was Summer Fridays Cold Dual. It's a gel cream moisturizer and it feels amazing on the skin. I actually got this in my Fab Fit Fun Box and I am currently wearing the Ultra Violet Rose um, scrub set and I have the cargo pants. Now I'm going to spray on some Signature Glow Refreshing Brightening Mix. You just kind of give the face a little, you know, shimmer. <laughs> when you're 45 and up, you need all the fucking help you can get. So I figured while I'm doing my makeup and going through some of this stuff, I can kind of talk about um, Nurse Week and um, appreciation and gratitude. So first of all, I want to say that I don't think hospital administrators and I don't think higher leadership really understands um, how nurses feel when it comes to nurse week um, and also hospital week or healthcare provider week. And this is a primer. It's called Luminizer Primer Base. And this makeup routine is going to last me about um, probably about eight hours. We will see, hopefully. So I just put some in and I am just going to kind of moisturize it into the skin. So I don't think they understand how much healthcare workers and people who are in the area that we are, how much we really feel like we are giving back. And I know so many um, nurses say they just feel like so unvalued. And I think that really goes around the board with anybody who works in the healthcare industry. Uh, most of us, in all honesty, most of us do feel undervalued because we dedicate a lot of time to um, to the company, to the area of the company, and sometimes we just do not see any anything back, like appreciation. Um, this is a get naked manic hydrator i believe it is kind of it has a 24 hour wear it is very thick um it is by urban decay i just feel like they don't give us enough appreciation and sometimes it just feels like the managers or whoever just does not plan anything and Sometimes they do, but sometimes they don't. I remember in the ER, I always felt like when it was nurse week, they would be like, oh, well, we don't celebrate because um, you guys are ER nurses. So we just celebrate ER nurse week or ER nurse day. Okay. And a lot of times we felt very underappreciated. One of the things that I want to say is I used to have a coworker when I worked in the ER. She was so sweet. She would go out of her way and buy us stuff. You know, she would actually make us like little cute cupcakes that would be like poop. <laughs> they would look like little, those little um, poop emojis. And she'd be like, it's a shit show. I'm glad I'm spending this time with you guys. You know, I'm glad you guys are here with me um, during the shit show. So, she, I, I mean, 
in all honesty, I really feel like as healthcare providers, especially during nurse week and healthcare provider week, take time to say thank you to your coworkers because we don't understand, sometimes we don't know what people are going through. We don't know, um, we don't know the dynamics of what's happening in their house. We don't know the dynamics of, you know, have they been sick? Do they have a loved one who is sick? Um, we don't know if they're going through a divorce. You know, there's all kinds of shit that happens to people in in their lives outside of work. And I think um, this is a good opportunity for us to basically thank them for showing up. Thank them for being part of our team, you know? Yes, people sometimes don't always agree, but just try to thank each other and let each other know that like, I'm glad that you're here on my team with me. And I'm glad that, you know, you show up and help me when I need it. Because in all honesty, a lot of times, the people who get us through isn't necessarily nurse week, isn't necessarily the stuff that the hospital provides for us, isn't really um, what the managers or administrators provide for us, but the people who really get us through are um, our coworkers, are the people who show up um, with us when we need them, that help us, that support us, that give us that time to um, basically, um, give us that time to basically um, help us when we need it, you know, or they give us some type of support. So definitely say thank you to your coworkers. So this is the Rare Beauty um, Bronzer Stick. This is the brand that is by Selena Gomez. Um, so I just like to put a little bronzer, not too much because it is like a darker color. I like to make sure that my face is like fully looking hydrated and I do, I saw this hack on a, I hope I do it right. I'm not a makeup girly, okay? I mean, I wear makeup because I don't want to look dead at work, <laughs> you know, but um, makeup, I put it on. It's not my thing. I'm not a makeup artist. I have no plans to be, um, you know, so. I saw this hack for people who have double chins, which I do have, to, and then I just like to kind of pat this in and blend this in and kind of give it this bronzer. I do like this bronzer stick. This is one of the things that I got from Sephora. Um, I like it a lot better than the brush. I just moved on to the cream. This is my first time using a cream bronzer. I usually use the brush. It probably will not take me this long to get ready, guys. Um, but I am going to power through this because it, I have to be on time. I've been kind of tardy lately. So I'm trying to get to work on time. I don't know why it's so hard for people who... Probably because I'm doing YouTubes before. <laughs> but see, look, it's supposed to kind of hide the double chin. Create this area of illumination. And um, area of of shadow, <laughs> of shadow. See, mm, okay, okay, babe. You know, sometimes these TikTok um, makeup people have some good tricks. Yeah, they do because they know they do makeup every day, right? I just do it. I'm trying to be somewhat alive. Okay, so I like to do the bronzer. And then I am just going to do very light makeup um, today. But I just want to show you guys what I got. So that was one of the bronzers that I got from Sephora. From Selena Gomez brand. I love it. Now I am going to just add a little bit of blush. Just a little bit of blush over it like this and I just kind of get it on the cheekbone high on the cheekbone you know you need to lift it up <laughs> when you're 45 and 45 
you need to lift that shit up. Lift it up. Just a little bit right on the cheekbone. A little bit right on the cheekbone. Light, very light. Um, Tank, be quiet, my dog. He loves to bark. Hey, I had to let him out. And then I'm just going to put some blush on my eyeshadow. As eyeshadow, because I'll be honest, I do not feel like doing eyeshadow right now. So just a little bit of something that matches, kind of create that area. A little bit on the nose, a little bit up here. Okay, yeah, I mean, whatever. I gotta hurry up. Okay, so that's that. This is the eyeliner I got from Sephora. It is the Sephora brand and it's just black eyeliner. I'm just gonna put this on. It, this one goes on pretty easy. It really does. You don't have to light it. Who remembers the old days when you used to have to light eyeliners? I, eyeliner pens. <laughs> okay, I need to Turn this off. Okay, friends, I had to stand up. I don't know. I'm just very weird like that. I cannot do my, I cannot do my eyeliner sitting down. I have to stand. Weird, but I do. Okay, so this is my favorite, absolute favorite mascara. It is the Sephora brand. Um, it's called Size Up. And I love it because it makes your eyelashes feel full and you don't have to use much. Um, and I just go ahead and put it on like this. First coat, spread it out. It can get clumpy um, because it's very thick. And there we go. I like to kind of spread the lashes out. Like I said, I'm not a makeup artist, guys. I'm just trying to go over some of the things that I got that I wear to work, how I do my makeup for work, and um, some of the favorites. And you know, I try not to go too crazy with the lashes for work um, and the eyeliner. I mean, since I already have eyeliner on, I probably don't need to do like 20 zillion um, coats. And then the lower lid. I didn't put any eye cream on today. Honestly, I feel like my face is very moisturized right now. And it feels kind of like um, oily. Okay. Yeah, you can see, but I freaking love I don't curl my lashes. Um I love that mascara. I also love the mascara that was involved in the um mascara gate on TikTok. What is it? The telescope right here. Um where Michaela did her lashes and everybody said she had falsies on. I love that mascara too. Okay, so now I'm just gonna do my eyebrows. Super simple. I got this from Sephora too. It's an eyebrow pencil thing. I'll be honest, I'm not a huge fan of the brush. I like this other brush. It's a little bit thicker. This is from, um, I don't even know who this is from. It doesn't even say. Um, I don't know maybe like L'Oreal or something, but I just kind of comb it with this brush. I do like this brush. And then my eyebrows are very thick as it is, so I don't really need to pencil them in too much. I just try to go kind of where there might be some gaps or if I haven't got them, um, or if I haven't got them waxed, you know, trying to make them look a little bit more fuller so it looks like, they're supposed to be this bushy on purpose. <laughs> um, I'm very blessed that I was man managed 
to have my eyebrows grow back after my very thin eyebrow period in life. My Pamela Anderson eyebrows and Chola eyebrows. And then I just kind of brush them up. Um, very thankful. Very thankful. So, eyebrows done. Um, this goes on very nicely. And this is the Sephora brand. I am a big fan of the Sephora brand. I think the Sephora brand is pretty good quality makeup. Um, this bronzer brush, for those who are wondering, is actually Fenty. I like this brush. Um, okay, and then I'm just gonna do like a soft powder, Sephora brand again. And I'm actually using the same brush that I did with the blush. I'm just gonna go like this, kind of like this, like this, like this. A little bit on there to just add some color. Okay, guys, and that's it. Um, I'm going to spray, well, I was going to spray my Urban Decay um, setting spray, but I can't fucking find it. And you know what? I don't got time. So I'm just going to put a little bit of lipstick on. It's like a lip balm with some color in it and um, do my hair and go. Okay, off to work. Um, okay, off to work. Makeup looks good, I will say. I'm impressed. <laughs> um... I hate some peanuts and I gotta eat uh, breakfast at work. Gotta go, guys. Can't be late. How much do I owe you? It's okay. It's on the house.